After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky designed this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kemsky's place. She was his teacher. I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. We just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. 
It was logic that determined my decisions, nothing more. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank, but maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker! Oh. Stop it, Lieutenant! <laughs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's totally lost it. Give me another shot at that little hey, prick! That's gonna cost you your badge, you lunatic. <laughs> you little <laughs> used in my fucking bag! Come on, that's <laughs> enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Go on then. Get a fucking move on. Fucking androids. Hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. The deviant who took a child hostage. Our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, 
we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. The android that murdered its owner. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. I'm sorry about what happened. But I can have you repaired and give you back your freedom. But you have to tell me where Jericho is. You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me. I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? If the Deviants start a war, they'll all be destroyed. I can stop that, but you have to tell me where Jericho is. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus!
I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Get the alarm! Now! 